Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another House Whipper video. We are renovating the Breaking Bad house. We're in the middle of it. I think in the last episode we basically had cleaned up and repainted a lot of the interior, except for obviously the iconic <laughs> Heisenberg yeah, reference Heisenberg. here. Yeah, we managed to clean up everywhere and mm -hmm. we did painting on the, the big open plan family room. We haven't really touched the floors, but they seem fine. They do. Mm-hmm. And Maybe we've also the done the kitchen. The kitchen floor we might want to replace, but it is fine. It so, is fine. Yeah, I don't think there's much of a need. And we were thinking about what to do with the bedroom situation. Because yes. Because it doesn't exactly match the TV show, but we have to decide how much that bothers us. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, we're missing a door here. Yeah, we need a door. Yeah, so this is a bathroom which does... Well, we said last episode that the house in the show... Is not doesn't really make sense in real life. Yep. But there are three bedrooms and there is definitely a bathroom. So you had the good idea of me. I think you said someone gave a good comment of turning this into a nursery. Yes. One of our commenters, Aya, mentioned that one of the talking heads in the left-hand side said something about a nursery. So Cool. I think that'd be good. I also think if we can do that, this would be the first three-bedroom house we would have done. Mm. So I think that would be a cool thing to do. So we're going to ideally turn this into a nursery, but that means we have to have some way of accessing the bathroom here yep. from the main hallway. Yep. So you thought maybe we should do some excavating and see what's <laughs> on the other side of this wall. We may live to regret this. Yeah, now it's definitely not the kitchen. Yeah, do you think that this works out? Like it, that back wall does back onto yeah. the bathroom. It should be right here. We should actually just break through Okay. and there should be these two things, but it might be the, I think that's probably right. Yeah, I mean, it's also possible to add on to this room and make it a little bigger. So as you saw in the master bedroom on the right side here and on the left side here, there is this kind of divot area and that's where the door is but yeah. maybe that could be used to expand the space the problem is you know going from two bedrooms and two bathrooms to three bedrooms and one bathroom yeah is potentially where we're going to end up but i think that's going to be in terms of selling i think it's okay okay i think that would also make more sense for the show and be interesting to see <laughs> how much we sell the house which is a three bedroom house yeah so we've got the money Let's we do also it. These need plastering, so I'm happy to knock them down. All right. Let's go. Is this too wide or? Well, done it now. <laughs> yep. We're trying to be adventurous. We've been sort of cheap before. Yeah. But we had a bucket full of cash in this little hole in the floor here. Exactly. Which we're choosing to ignore because we can't do anything about it. But uh, we just thought we would try some more brave stuff in yeah. this episode. And it looks like, yeah, it came through exactly where we thought. Mm -hmm. Here's one of the uh, basins. Yeah, and there's yeah. the other one. It's looking a bit dirty there from behind. <laughs> so you've lived in the US for a number of years, but I, yes. I feel like when we do these comments on these videos, you still say a lot of the British terminology instead of English. Like oh, what? sorry, American English. Like you said, basin instead of sink. And I think in oh. the one of our recent videos, you said something about hiring boxes instead of Yeah, I still boxes. say hiring. There was that one time when we had like a pot over boiling water on the stove. Yeah. And you were like, the hob, the hob, turn off the hob. And I was like, I know what the hob is. But in a moment of panic, I, I was like, just tell me what you mean. And you meant the stove, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we're still... Sometimes, even after years together and years of you living in the U.S., sometimes we have language barrier issues. <laughs> As in, you sometimes don't understand me. Mm. <sighs> okay, well, what uh, happened? To we yeah, we're have selling to sell... these dirty things. Oh wow, five hundred. Wow, must be expensive to put in then. Yeah, well, let's get rid of this. Bang, bang! Come on. Uh, I think it might go away on its own when we read. Do stuff. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. So, what can we do now? We have a rather. Yeah, let's just shut this. Uh, we don't have a door yet here. Right. Uh, we want to keep this. Doesn't need to be exactly there. This, I think, is actually a pretty good shape for a bathroom that has two entrances. Could do. Yeah. Could move the door, but that would be a bit of an effort. So, if we keep that there, we also can't do much on the floor here because of the hole in the floor. Mm -hmm. So, we just need to keep this area open, of course. Okay. 
But that does mean we could put, we've got space here for, is this the, that's the bath, I think? Yep. And the toilet is to the right of it. Yeah, and we don't need to fit much in here. We just need to fit a sink, a toilet, and a bath or a shower. So this is definitely big enough for that. Okay, so do you want to do anything with the wall and that little strip of floor there? Yeah, now are you happy with this color? If sure. you can find this color? I think it matches the one in the show. Okay, so let's see if we can match that. Some sort of bright blue. And if it doesn't match, then we'll just redo. Yeah, something. royal, no, Maybe. sky blue. Mm. Yeah, see, it's hard. These swatches, I was thinking royal blue was more close to, wait, scroll down, are there more paints? Indigo, as azure bliss. Yeah, it seems really deep. But then it's like these swatches always look different once you actually put yeah. them. I bet it's that something like that. If we're wrong, then... Oh, that looks too dark. <laughs> okay, go for the sky blue then. Let's see. Let's see if putting it on the floor actually helps. I think sky blue. Oh, sleep, sleepy blue? That's the one I thought it was. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks very close. Okay, let's see how this looks. Watch it not be it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sort of. It's fine because it's in a whole different section. Oh, shoot! <laughs> well, because there's this bit here. That's true. It's all tiled. Yeah, which I was just going to get rid of. Can we paint over the tile? Um, I don't know. Why? Wow. <laughs> all right, I guess The answer is yes, so we're now just... <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, there's not much of the old blue. on. I'm just going to paint over it, I guess. That's, yep. that's what we're doing here. Fair enough. It's a pretty close color, but not identical. So there we go. I haven't seen anything from the talking heads. I also haven't been paying attention to them, but I will see if they come up with anything. Yeah. They I seem... don't know if they know what's going on. Yeah, really, yeah, I think because there's no door, there are no actual toilet appliances, so they're just kind exactly. of unclear what's happening. They're like yeah, I think, yeah. empty space. Yeah, I think we need to put in a door here and put in some stuff more important to them mm -hmm. than doing the painting, but we want to do the painting first before the decorating. Yep. Yeah, so I was, I think I mentioned before, I was reading on the Breaking Bad subreddit and people had sort of intense debates over how many bathrooms existed in the house. Uh -huh. Because, as we said, in the TV show, only one was ever shown during six entire seasons of the show, <laughs> which is typical of TV show houses. They only ever need to make sense for whatever the plot requires and not for real life. We've said yeah. that in the last video. I also forgot to mention, but a lot of TV sets actually are built at odd angles. So they're not right angles in the corners. They're actually... Right. What's the other... Uh, obtuse angle? Is that the... Uh, one? More than 90? Yeah. More than 90 is obtuse, yeah. Yeah. Well, is that okay. just to help with the camera angles? Yes. So basically... Well, I don't know about camera angles, but just basically to give a sense of more space. Okay. Yeah. So Ooh. because of the distance between you know, the camera and whatever the back of the set is, yeah. I guess it just makes sense sometimes to make the sets at an angle that is greater than 90 degrees so that it doesn't look too cramped. I get that, I yeah. think. So that's maybe what they did here. I can't remember because we went to the Friends set yeah. when we were in Los Angeles once. We went to the Warner Brothers lot and we went to the Central Perk, the coffee shop of friends yeah and like took a picture on the couch and all that stuff and i can't remember if i those were definitely weird shaped rooms they're also yeah. way way smaller than we think in real mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. uh, the coffee shop you think is like the size of a normal starbucks yeah it was tiny i'm not sure if the set that we visited was actually the one that they filmed on it might have been like a recreation of it oh no <laughs> <sighs> hmm maybe go for blue well there was okay because there is that blue one. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yep. yep. Okay. Perfect. Fortunately, they're cheap. Yeah. yeah, so it was definitely... Oh. Ooh, oh, two do this. upgrades. Faster plastering, faster mounting. Yeah. I'm going to do this one. One of each, yeah. I'm just going to get... Because we don't have any much plastering to do. We've got a whole oh, bunch right, of fitting right. to do yeah, in this right, episode. Right. So smart. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we've done that. No demolishing. Thank you. Right. So do you want to get on with putting stuff in here? Yeah. Um, looks like the bath should go there. Yep. Should we just see if we can put the bath there, toilet here? Yep. And then sink somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about the friends. 
set. Yeah, the Friends set. Did you know that the guy who played Gunther made a lot of money out of his <laughs> time on the show? Oh, how about, I guess there's only the square one or the oval one. Yeah. Oval seems really luxurious. Yeah, I think they're more of a, yeah, I think we should just go with this one. Yeah. Um. So he initially was hired on as just an extra in the background. All they required of him was like to look like he knew how to make coffee. First, I need to unscrew the pipe cap at uh, the bottom, maybe. Oh, yeah. Unscrew. Oh, yeah. okay. So all they wanted out of him was to make him, I guess, look like he knew how to work coffee machines. Yeah. So he didn't have any speaking lines to begin with. But then right. once he was given speaking lines, you know, obviously because he had a crush on Rachel and all that stuff, then they started to pay him the big bucks. Yeah. So he didn't make anywhere near what the stars made, but because he was on the show basically every season, he ended up making, I think, quite a lot of money out of it. Cool. So now he just lives off the royalties? I think so. Or I'm not sure if he gets any syndication deal out of it, given that he wasn't a main cast yeah. member, but I don't know. This is just something that I read. I guess this is another Reddit uh, discussion. Possibly. <laughs> I think I read that on the Today I Learned subreddit. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a good is, one. It is a good one. It's just people spouting random facts. Today I learned, <laughs> you know, that the Silk Road in China was X miles long or something like that. But yeah. usually it's something more interesting, like something that you never would have thought about. Ooh. This is, uh, huh. Big. Yeah. I think we're going to move this blocky. table. <laughs> I wonder, if, would the toilet fit there anyway? Yeah, I mean, that, that corner right there seems... Although, wait, there's a thing above it. What's the thing above it for? That's for the tower rail. Oh, okay. The heated tower thingy. Let's just get some space so we can put the toilet in. Yep. Put it in the standard... Let's do this one. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, you want to say subreddits? Yeah, what else do I read? Hmm. Today I learned... I actually am subscribed to a whole bunch, but I don't necessarily read all of them. Yeah, And it's usually yeah. just whatever comes up on my feed. But there are a few that I check out on the regular. I like relationships. Yeah. There are often people coming in with messy relationship <laughs> stuff, but sometimes also really sad stuff. And I especially like the ones where people will make sure to post updates about what's gone on since the time they came to the relationships subreddit for advice. So, oh, your hands are full. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, you sent me one actually yesterday. Was it from uh, Relationships? I Don't I send you like multiple in a day? Yeah, but I, I don't, you know, I read it. I don't pay too much attention to the subreddit it came from. It's about a wife whose husband's friend bought the husband a PlayStation. Oh, yeah. A PlayStation 4, I guess, for yep. a, a present. Yeah. And along with Red Dead Redemption and Spider-Man. Yeah. And she was upset because he was playing it. All much. the time. Yeah. And like wasn't hanging out with friends anymore because he was playing video games and he never played video games before. Wait, that is, that, is that done? I think it's done. I think I think so. Okay. It's not going <laughs> to do anything else. Sure, yeah. Where are we going to put the sinks? I think just one sink and it's going to go over here. Okay. A bit of space because then you can walk in. And, so I'm thinking right here. All right. And step over the hole in the floor. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, what's that? Uh, where do we sink plumbing system? Wow, that's why we got so much back. Yeah. They are expensive, these things. Let's put it... Yeah, I think right there is good. Sure. Mm -hmm. You might even have room for a washer. Oh, yeah, that's true. Know, Maybe. To the yeah. thing. Uh, where? Just mountable sink, I guess. Let's keep it. Cheap. Keep it, yeah. Don't you have to unscrew things? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why the bath has to do that. I guess we, we rarely have to install a brand new one. Normally we're taking out the old fittings and putting in the new fittings. And um, we should put like a mirror over the sink. The one mirror that the game gives you. <laughs> I did look on the House Flipper Twitter just to kind of scroll through what the different like, pictures they have from players are. And yeah. people can do really good looking things with just the base level stuff. And it's not... Didn't look modded or anything. Like, I double-checked That's cool. that certain things were available. We're just not very good at the game yet. I think it's to do with, like, the colors that you choose as well. Yeah. I saw one that was a purple-themed room, and it looked really good because, cool. you know, they kept the theme up. If only 
installing a real sink was this easy. <laughs> Done. Okay. Um, mirror. Mirror. Yes. Works for me, keeping that desert-ish theme. Yep. Light. Light switch. Let's just turn it on, make sure it works. Yep. Yep. We have light. Um, it's uh, looking... It's fine. Bare, but got everything in there, I guess. Yeah. Do you want to try and... Where would the washing machine go? Like, right here. I was No, I was saying next to the door. Here. Is that too small? Um, Maybe it we is. We can try, can't we? I guess all we can do is see whether the installation for the washing machine will let us do that. Looks like it should fit. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> let's try it. Come on, let's live a little. <laughs> Install a washing machine. Washer, plumbing, yep. So is this one of those fabled um, combination washer and dryers of Europe? Common in Europe? <laughs> yeah, common in Europe, common in tiny houses mm -hmm. in the US. <laughs> well, they just, they've got a big yard. They can hang stuff yeah, definitely. out in the yard. Sweet. Oh, this, I remember this. This was uh, tricky the first time. You're like, what the hell is going on? What am I supposed to be doing? But you have to take the back plate off to then release the drum. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is relatively user-friendly once you get the hang of what you yeah. need to do. Yeah, yeah, it's just it doesn't tell you exactly which screw to yeah. unscrew or why. But I think this should now, yep. But there's usually only so many places you can... That's true. It's just, I don't know if you can hear the clicking, but sometimes I'm clicking around a bunch to get the right thing. But here we go. We are now... Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Thanks. another subreddit that I read is Home Improvement. Yeah. Just because sometimes there are really good tips in there. Tips that I might probably never use or put into action, but I like to see what people do. And they post before and after pictures sometimes of the things that they've done. All right. Look at that. We actually have That's a functional bathroom goes. and laundry room. Yeah. Didn't see anything from the talking heads, but I'm going to say they are totes happy. <laughs> Do you want to paint this bedroom? Yeah, let's do that. What color are you thinking? Something brighter than whatever <laughs> yeah. this is. Young flower bud? Young flower bud it is. <laughs> let's put two down. I think hopefully we'll get by with, with two. Another one that I read is legal advice, which yeah. Walter White probably could have done with. <laughs> but he seemed to be taken care of relatively. Oh, that's actually nice. So what are some interesting threads you've read on legal advice? Oh, they really love tree law. So tree, tree like yeah. trees. Basically, it's a big thing. If you cut down a full growth tree without permission on somebody else's land. Oh, on someone else's you land. You can get like triple damages out of that tree. But how much is the damages for a tree? In the thousands. Really? Yeah, especially if it's like an old growth tree. And ah. basically, I think the culture of that subreddit is that people are homeowners, they're really into property rights, and right. they're into justice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Personal vigilante justice. No, no, it's within the law. It's within, legal advice. Okay. Yeah. So the questions that often get asked are, my neighbor came onto my property and cut down my tree. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It happens a lot, apparently. And so everybody on the subreddit who is into tree law will then be like, get an arborist out there, get the value of your tree, sue, get your triple damages, and then tell us, you know, give us an update. Tell us what happened right. so that we can, you know, drink the tears of your neighbor who yeah. had to pay triple damages. Yeah. Do you think like the first step in a dispute, or if your neighbor doesn't like the tree, the first thing they do should not be to cut down the tree. I'm not sure that it is the first thing. I'm pretty sure that they only suspect the neighbor did it because there was a pre-existing conflict about the yeah. tree. Yeah, <laughs> because we have a tree on the edge of our property that is not looking in a great state, but it is, I think, on the neighbor's property, but a whole bunch of it is over our property. Mm -hmm. So I think if we wanted to, we could cut down the branches on our side Yeah, because they're kind of yeah, they do lean. Yeah, they do lean. So if we want to, we could kind of decimate the tree, which is almost dying anyway, because it's on our land. But I wouldn't think of going over there and cutting down the tree. I know, but some people do. And also, think like if you were to pay somebody, say, "Oh, please come over. This is my house. Go next door and cut down their tree." Right. The tree company should be like, yeah. "We do you actually own this property?" Like, yeah, they yeah. should be. But apparently, it does happen enough that it's a thing. Goodness. Yeah. Goodness so me. in the future, anybody who's listening to this, don't go onto somebody's property and 
do, do that tree irretri- irretrievable damage to what they own because that's bad yeah uh, okay this is a nice color um do you want to use this color anywhere else now we have some paint or do you want to use a different color for the other bedrooms i think we'll we could use different colors and a okay. tip that we got from yeah go in there and sell the paint a tip that we got is that you can get usually a lot a fair amount of money back from what you paid for yeah exactly I'm going to clear this stuff because this is no longer going to be a bathroom. Wowzers. Yeah, this stuff is really expensive, the installation. Let's yeah. keep the lamp. Right. So if this so, is going to be a nursery, maybe what kind of paint would you want? They have a daughter. They're, they have a daughter, that's yeah. true. So Something kind of neutral and pale, pale maybe. Pale pink. Could do. Silver. Uh, silver's a bit cold. Maybe young like a yellowish. Young flower bud. <laughs> we just did young. Did flower. we? Uh, yeah. Light bisque. Uh, keep going. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wallpaper. Oh, wallpaper. We could do wallpaper. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, wallpaper flowers, maybe. They're up above. Yeah. Let's do it. We haven't done it before. Yeah. Just by now. Oh, I think it's going to be like wall panels. Mm. So I think. Oh, oops. Um, what do I do? Switch to tiling oh. and paneling. All right. Yes, yeah, so it's just going to be oh, okay. same as doing tiles. That works. Pretty. It's going to take a while, so... <laughs> it's a very small room. <laughs> yeah, fortunately. So also, Legal Advice subreddit has a sister subreddit called Best of Legal Advice. Yeah. So Legal Advice itself is only for advising the original poster on their options, Best of legal advice is for everybody to talk about what <laughs> happened in that original post. So you often get more tangents, I guess, because legal advice, the moderators don't want things to go too off topic or they don't want too right. much arguing to happen. But in best of legal advice, it's a little bit more free. Uh huh. So, yeah, those are the two sister subreddits that I read together. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that reddit is pretty good like that it's moderated obviously which means mm-hmm. each subreddit can control to an extent the quality of content or the yeah. the rules and how nice people are to each other it's variable depending it on is, what subreddit you're in yeah. yeah but it's nice you can have little pockets of communities where i guess there's a bunch of home proud people or lawyers or people who think mm-hmm. they know about the law giving each other advice seems it's pretty nice Pet owners as well. I have a bunch of pet-related subreddits. Oh, yes. I've got Ask a Vet. I've got Pets, Cats, Cat Care, Black Cats, Supermodel Cats. (laughs) Supermodel Cats. Yeah. (laughs) Basically just people posting really good shots of their cats and saying, somebody told me I should post my cat here. Like, kind of like a humble brag kind of thing. Yeah. And, oh, look, my cat happens to be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I have happened to post at some point a photo of our cat on a certain subreddit about cats. Wait, did you? Mm-hmm. I don't remember this. Yeah, I think it was Halloween. Oh, did you have you checked how many votes and I think it had a bu- it got a bunch, like how maybe a hundred or something, I can't remember. Yeah. So I was definitely like, oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have like a make two subreddit, we just have our own personal ones yeah i don't think i would want one no no Uh, we don't post very much i follow lego um i'm not on it very much but i do like that one people just post their creations and generally they're just really positive and supportive like wow that's really nice yeah there's no nastiness about it which is good i really don't i mean obviously it depends on the subreddit that you're in some nastiness will happen but usually those get downvoted right so yeah i think so and i think some of them are just you know, they're just nice subreddits. You said overall subreddit is no, not for being awesome, but some of it can be really nice. Mm. Another one I go to is mechanical keyboards, which is a oh, bit, yeah. bit niche as well. It's a thing that you do. Yeah. It's basically like looking for things that look really cool that I probably never going to buy, but would be cool to have one. I have a mechanical keyboard. Um, your brother gave one to me that he wasn't using anymore. And they are really nice, but people make ridiculous keyboards that look incredible. So, you know, I was uh, it's tempting to see what people make and should I buy a new keyboard of my own. Floor, tiles, maybe carpets. Oh, yeah, for a baby. Yeah, these are actually rugs when they say carpets. Sure, yeah, yeah. But this we could do carpet tile, I guess. Yeah, I, think, I guess that's fine. It matches the desert theme color stuff that we wanted. It matches the wallpaper relatively well. Oh, no. 
How does that work then? Ugh. What? Okay, maybe we shouldn't do that then. But, wow, you can't put them down in that... Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Odd. Very odd. So we got floor tiles, which are just straight up tiles. We yeah, just I got, just oh, said God, wood. This. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Hopefully it matches the color better. That's okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> It's fine. a bit dark. Yeah, lighter than the other one. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty cozy nursery. Yeah, I think. I think. Do you want to finish off the nursery while we're here? Sure. Let's do curtains. Mm -hmm. Just get That's what out I was thinking. <laughs> this one, I guess. Yep. Uh, oh, which color? Something. Huh. Oh, right. That's that's nice. Yay! I'm glad that these <laughs> curtains fit, unlike the last house that we did. Yeah, made. exactly. That I, was a pain. It was because the wall was too close to the window in that one instance, I think. And another place, the windows were a different size than we expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what do we need in a nursery? And do we have nursery things? <laughs> crib. Crib, let's see. Yes, crib. There we go. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Oh, just perfect. Just fits right there. And just here? Yep. Probably needs a chest of drawers, I guess. Yeah, and then maybe a chair. Yeah, furniture. I know there's not going to be exactly what we want. <laughs> I just want a night, like a, you know, yeah. like a changing table. I kind know of what thing. you mean. Yeah. Maybe this. Okay, but keep scrolling. I know. Wait, um, what's that? Cabinet with changing table right there. Oh. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Not, of course it doesn't match. Why would it match? <sighs> That's fine. Okay. Orange it is. Maybe under the window. Yep. Fits p pretty well right there. Cool. Maybe a chair. Maybe a chair. Ooh. Oh, a oh yeah, chair. rocking chair. Lovely. Why aren't these colors any better? <laughs> Red oak it is. Um, goodness. It, it works. It's cozy, but maybe if we move the crib a little bit, we put the rocking chair yeah, on the end of it. Yeah, works better. <laughs> okay. We... <laughs> It, we did what we could. It just about works, yeah. <laughs> you can't put anything in, like, directly by the curtain. It's kind of strange. Anyway, I think this is looking nice. Maybe we should have a picture on the wall. That's true. Uh, Always decorations, helps. pictures and paintings, something cute. <laughs> is there anything cute? That's kind of cute, I guess. Pink trees. Um, picture owl. Picture teddy bear in a dressing room right there on the left. Cute, cute. Done. Okay. Oh, it's so tiny, but fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Beautiful. Uh, someone on the left, I saw negative reaction to that. Well, whatever. Screw you. I think the family of talking heads at the top is higher. Oh, that's true. It's like we've got a bunch of single guys and then one family. Yeah. How are you satisfying the single guys, you know? I don't know. Okay. Do you want to do the other bedroom? Yep. Well, we actually haven't done decorating in this one, remember? Okay. It's getting dark. We should put some lights up as well. Yes. This room, I noticed, hasn't got any lights. It has got a light switch. Mm -hmm. So let's put a light in because we'll be decorating this in nighttime. Ceiling lamps. Perfect. Okay. Now, I don't think this needs plastering. I think we can get by with just painting. Hopefully. And this, I think, mean then the whole house, apart from the garage, would have been fully painted. So this is going to be Walter Jr.'s. Yeah, maybe a, Flynn's room. Maybe a light blue, sky blue, just to have a or a lime, just to go with a different color than we've had previously, or bloody red. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> uh, maybe there's one that's called Coffee with Milk. Again, just trying to keep it with the with the same theme. theme. Okay, yeah. Flynn, who likes his breakfast. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this does feel very kind of terracotta-like. Mm. So another interesting subreddit that I think both you and I have perused a lot is Preppers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got some good advice about what to do. Uh, some people take it very, very seriously. All right, so we should back up. Preppers 
So we actually, in the last episode, I think we talked about apocalypse movies and how I really love apocalypse stories. Yeah. So not that I actually believe apocalypses are anything that are really going to happen, but it's kind of interesting to think about and a fun, if you have the funds to spend, like the money, the disposable income, Yeah. it's something to think about preparing for. And we have done a little bit of preparing for not an apocalypse, (laughs) but... We'll get there. So preppers are people who prepare for the apocalypse. Or just emergencies. Yeah, exactly. Some people, you know, really think that society is going to be, not necessarily apocalypse, but societies we know is going to collapse and we need to be ready for it or there's going to be an invasion or whatever. So some people take the things they're preparing for and the degree to which they prepare to different lengths. But it's all about preparing for the unexpected and things that are going to change your life in a really big way. I think maybe what got us started, not just the apocalypse stuff, but like we went to Dragon Con and we went to some panel which was about like apocalypses and it was very apparent that there were people in that room who were preppers. Yeah, they knew a lot about different things. They were like asking very specific questions about types of, (laughs) I don't know, device or... Yeah, guns, places that you want to evacuate to. Like, get out of cities, for instance. Yeah, exactly. Which way to go. Yeah. We thought it was funny, but then the more that we read up about it, we were like, huh, some of this stuff actually could be interesting to have or useful to have. Yeah. Do you know, actually, I think for me, it was possibly around the same time we first went to Dragon Con, Mm -hmm. but it was, we just moved to the States. Yes. And we live somewhere that isn't particularly hit by hurricane season, but definitely, you know, we live on the East Coast and hurricanes can go all the way up, or a large way up the East Coast. And the first year we were here, there was a hurricane, there were some major hurricanes in the area. So that, for me, definitely did think, oh, if we need to get out, like if things happen and we need to leave, we're not ready for it at all. So what can we do to make sure we're ready to get out of town if we need to in the event of something like a hurricane and we lose power and we have to go to a shelter or just need to run away? Yeah. Also, I think we, like, we're not going to say where we live exactly, but let's just say it was a target-rich environment. Yeah. What I mean by that is if there were ever some sort of attack, then that might be one of the places which would be yeah. target rich, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, not that we believe anything <laughs> is likely to happen, but it was just fun sometimes to think about. And we like to make lists and we like to organize. <laughs> and then we did, we did buy stuff. Yeah, we, we, did. Do ha- we have a go bag each mm-hmm. uh, that has food and. Yeah. A go bag is a bag that you would pick up when you're ready to leave. Yeah. And it has everything that you might need in an emergency. Exactly. Um, so we do have one of those. It's not got tons of stuff in, but because, well, it has, but then it's really heavy and then you can't carry it. Well, first of all, they're made out of like military grade kind of material, right? Yeah, they're kind of mili- I mean, military grade apparently doesn't actually mean that much because unfortunately the military often have to buy their own gear, the soldiers, and they're not necessarily like built to last forever and ever, but they are definitely ones that I think military people like. So it's got lots of pockets and lots of lots molly of webbing and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe too much webbing and stuff oh, like that. Because we also watched Generation Kill around that time, oh, right? yeah. which yeah. is a mini series from HBO that's set in Iraq and it followed like a, I, I don't know the exact term, like a unit of Marines. Yeah, in, and, a, in a big Humvee. Yeah, and they all had, obviously, these big bags that they were carrying that had everything that they could possibly need. So we were like, we want that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So we have some emergency rations in there. Mm -hmm. We have a water canteen. We have some water purification tablets. Radio that you dial to power up. A tarp or something like that. We've got a whole bunch of things in these bags. Yeah, there's a tarp. We've got some... You know, like an emergency fishing kit, which to be honest is completely pointless because <laughs> neither of us know how to use it and it's not going to do any good whatsoever. Neither of us know how to use half the things that are in these I bags. know. Well, that's why I, I, I redid them recently because, uh, again, hurricane season was coming and we're thinking again about what to do. So I went through the bags to make sure I knew what was in there and I did get rid of things like the, the fishing kit. <laughs> uh, there's a knife because not to, for hurting people, but just... You never know, and a mini saw in case you have to cut something out. That I kind of stuff. A, I have a really cute picture of all the stuff laid out on the floor and oh, our really? cat <laughs> investigating because she had never seen so much stuff on the floor. No, <laughs> and it's all interesting, different stuff. If yes. you're a cat, yeah. 
Okay, so it looks like we've done a fair amount. Right. So we're gonna, once again, have to save more stuff for another video. But I think we're largely there in terms of the structure of the house. Like, we've got our three bedrooms. We've got our one bathroom and laundry room that connects. We've got happy family talking heads up on the left there. So they're probably going to be the ones who are going to sell to us. I think or buy from us. Buy from us. Yeah, so we've got some decorating to do mm -hmm. on two of the bedrooms. And, of course, the kitchen and living room area needs a whole bunch of decorating. Yep. But hopefully then will be finished and we can sell this place, pizza and all. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving the pizza. Cool. So guys, let us know in the comments what you think. And if you've got any tips for other stuff that we can do in terms of decoration, let us know. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more House Flipper on the way. Thanks for watching.